Halea Priest here. Today we're going to work with the daily energy routine, seated. We're going to just hop right in. You can follow along. Let's rub our hands together, get all that good energy, the life force energy moving in our bodies. Beautiful. And then we want to come to the ends of our collarbones down about a half inch and out about a half. You don't have to be perfect. We're going to just begin to tap these points or you can massage or you can just hold. These are kidney 27, the end point of the kidney meridians. This is the mother of all meridians really. And this meridian helps to move all the meridians forward. We want everything, the meridians to all run forward. Gives us more energy, vitality, helps us calm down. Throughout this whole routine, we'll be breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. <sighs> Beautiful. <sighs> Great. Then we're going to come down right to the center of the chest. Our thymus, we're going to thump our thymus or massage or hold. That gets our immune system going and we all know we need that these days, right? Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Beautiful. And we're going to come to the spleen. That's about a hand's width down, right at the base of your hand from your armpit. Massaging, tapping. You could also hold like this or under your breasts are neurolymphatic points for the spleen. You could also do that rubbing briskly. The spleen, of course, works with our blood and our immune system, but from Chinese medicine, it also helps us metabolize the events and experiences in our lives. And boy, do we need that, right? So much going on. Ah, breathing, good. And then we're gonna tap the tops of our cheekbones. This is the stomach meridian, stomach two. This meridian runs woo, and down out our second toe, and this meridian helps to ground our energies. Besides all of the good things for our stomach, for digestion and whatnot, it helps us to ground, stabilize, and balance ourselves. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Beautiful. Good. Let's brush our hands off and we're going to do some crossovers, one side to the other, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. These crossovers, now we're going to do it with our, on our knees. You can continue the other way if you want, or you can do this back and forth, opposite hand, opposite knee. These crossovers help our right and left sides of our brain integrate. In fact, so many parts of our bodies need to cross over our organs and our systems. And this helps that to happen. Helps us think better, feel better, have more energy, all the things that we need. Beautiful. Ah, good. Now we're gonna do the Wayne Cook, which there's two ways to do this. I'm going to do the really simple way first, so you can continue that as we're working with the other way. It's just going to cross, you can't see, but I'm crossing one foot over the other, both feet on the ground. And then I'm going to bring my hands out like this, turn my palms to the outside, put one over the other, lace my fingers, and then woo, come like this, all right? If that's too difficult, simple, just go like this. Right, okay, and breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. And then I'll show you the other way. You can continue to do that if you'd like. Cross one leg over the other. So this is my right leg. I'm gonna take my right hand down my to my right foot, place my right hand over the ball of my foot, and my left hand over my ankle. Okay, I'm gonna breathe in through my nose and out through the mouth three times. <sighs> 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 
that gets all the parts of our brains working properly. We're gonna do the other side. So now left foot over right, left hand down to the ball of the foot, other hand, right hand on the left ankle and breathing again. I'll let you do that as I'm speaking. And this helps to connect all the different parts of our brain and also is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. If you feel really stressed out, you can't sleep, this really balances the energy, one of my favorite. You can also lift everything up on the inhalation and let it back down. Beautiful, okay? Nice. Next, we're gonna place our thumbs together, place them on our, right at our third eye between our eyebrows, taking a deep breath in and out. Ah. Beautiful, and then we're gonna do the crown pull. Our fingers are gonna come right into our forehead. We're going to press in as hard as we can and pull apart about an inch, no more than that. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth, we're gonna go up and over the top of our head. Continuing to breathe. This just helps open up the top of our head to let excess energy out all the way down our neck and we get to the tops of our shoulders, just holding here and just maybe a little pressure in the tops of our shoulders. We have migraines, tension, anything in our heads, sinusy. This can help just break that all up, neck tension, shoulder tension, and then down to our heart. Beautiful. And now we'll work with neuro lymphatic points that are in this area of the body. They're all over the body actually, but the ones that we wanna target are between our ribs, the intercostals on either side of our sternum, our breastbone. We're gonna start right at K27. Continue to breathe and yes, these might be really, really sore. These spots are usually sore because they're holding a lot of blocked energy and toxins. And when we massage them, what it does is it wakes it all up and it gets the uh, toxins moving in the blood and the lymph again. And then we're gonna come down the center of the breastbone. We've been working on lung and gallbladder, now lung points. If they're sore, the message is massage them more. Unless you are really ill, you might not want to do this too much. Maybe just hold these points for now. Good, all the way down. And then we're gonna cross our hands over. We're gonna come under the collarbone about an inch or so, even a half inch. We're gonna start right by those K27s. We're gonna work our way along towards our shoulder. We're getting stomach heart neurolymphatic points, the governing meridian points, and then down the inside the between the shoulder and the chest, our central meridian. You don't even need to know what those are all about, but this is just good to do. Good, continue to breathe. And then going to your shoulder bone, the, the upper top in front, we want to get that. That's a good kidney neurolymphatic point. And then squeezing down our arms. Do the best you can and what feels right for you at this time. Good. Let's brush that off. Good. Then we're going to do heaven and earth, connecting heaven and earth. Hands on thighs. You might even want to press down and out towards your knees and look down at the ground if you can. And then we're gonna bring our hands into a prayer position. We're gonna inhale, we're gonna take our hand, our palm is gonna be faced toward the sky all the way up as we inhale. If you can't look up, that's okay. And then exhaling down, palm faced the ground, exhaling, coming back to prayer. Other side, inhaling up, exhaling down back to prayer and we're going to repeat inhaling up looking down prayer and then this last time and looking down good back to prayer now we're going to fold over you can go all the way down toward the floor but if you can't go down that far you don't have to 
breathing three times, do what's comfortable for you. And then we're gonna make a figure eight all the way. We're gonna come all the way up. This helps to clear your energy field, fluff everything up, all the way up and out into your field. Beautiful. Let's just take one moment to just notice how you feel and savor the benefits. Mm. Perfect. Good. And then we're going to rub our hands together. We're going to do the Celtic weave. Rubbing our hands, bringing them up over our heads and out. And feel the energy. You may feel energy between your hands. Maybe not. That's okay. And then we're going to bring our elbows together and then we're going to cross our hands. We're doing a great big Celtic weave. It's, it's, it's like a figure eight, really, all the way down. You may not be able to go down all the way as far as you can go. This Celtic weave helps to weave and knit all the different parts of our body together so they're working together helps heal. Very important. If you've been ill and haven't been able to heal, this is a really important one. And then we're going to take our hands. I'll come up a little bit. We can start as low as we can. And it's like we're drawing up the earth's energy and the water energy, bringing them up our body, through our body, all the way out into our field. Good. Then hands down by the first chakra. You can think of something positive that you'd like to say to yourself while we do this, or maybe just feel your gratitude for being here. This is our central meridian, runs from our perineum to just below our bottom of our lip, and we want to zip that up. It's often unzipped. Zipping it up will help to balance our chakras, make us feel more safe in the world, and make us feel more at our center, okay? Breathing in. And as we come up here, we're gonna just make this little, we're gonna have keys, lock it up, and throw out the keys. <sighs> On the exhalation, we'll do this two more times. <sighs> Good. Beautiful. And this last time, we're gonna just bring all that good energy all the way up and out into our field. <sighs> nice. And then we're going to do the hookup. So we're gonna take our middle fingers, one in our belly button. I know you have one. We all have one. One at your third eye, again, between your eyebrows. We're gonna press in and pull up, keep that position. And we're gonna breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth three times. This connects up our governing meridian up our back and our central meridian that we just talked about to create this beautiful energy weaving, the micro orbit web that moves around our body that keeps us safe and protected and locks in all the good work that we've done. Ah, beautiful. And hands on lap. And you might want to close your eyes for a moment and just notice how do you feel different now than when we first began this practice today. Focusing on what's different. It's easy for us to go to our pain and our creakiness and this and that and not to dismiss that at all. But when we check in with what's different, we open up more possibilities for ourselves. So savor the benefits for a moment. Savor the benefits of whatever you're feeling right now. Nice. Thank you.